Hi, it's Nora. Um, I'm here at, it's kind of a local mart complex. It has a night, really good ice cream place that a few of my friends and I were going to for dessert after dinner. Um, but, okay, two really bad things happened. Well, we were, I'm like in a lot of shadow. Let me go outside. I'm just on this fun ride. I ran out of quarters. Ow! go on to another one. Wee, wee, wee. Um, so what went down was, first we saw someone from this summer program that I went to, and I really didn't want to see her because I really just don't like seeing people I know and having to like talk to them and stuff, so I said, pretended I wasn't there. Um, well, we actually made eye contact, which was a little weird, but then I said to my friends, let's not go in. So we spent a really long time, like, sitting on this, like, chain thing outside. Then, guess who pulls up? Two separate cars containing some of my closest... Okay, they're not really my closest friends. Some close friends. Um, one of whom is partially Asian, and, um bunch of like guys too I don't not really friends with uh and I saw them they saw me like us very clearly I ran the other direction um and I just came to this fun like little play area and I've been here ever since my friends went to back to the ice cream place and said we'll text you um if they're still here and we'll tell you because I'm really the one who wanted ice cream and I haven't received a text yet, so I'm not extremely optimistic that they're gone, but I'm sure my friends will let me know. Um, they're good guys. Um, so... We were gonna go to karaoke after this. I think we still are. I just don't know when I can emerge from this, like, hiding spot, because, like, the parking lot's right near the ice cream place, and they'll definitely see us if we go to the parking lot hilarious thing I did, um, our friend told us to dress, like, really formally, he said, no jeans, so, it was really funny, I just wore these, like, really cute pants, and then my other friend, Chase, wore baseball pants, like, his baseball uniform, and we did that without even consulting each other about it, and our other friend showed up, looking, like, incredibly overdressed, and it was actually really, really funny, um, but it just shows how much on the same page we are. Um, past few days have been kind of boring. I was sort of sick yesterday. I was really into telling people I was sick. I wasn't really that sick. Yeah, you actually can't. So, so today I wasn't going to be able to hang out because I was sick. But then I told Brian, well, fine, I'll hang out with you if you do something amazing, if you plan an amazing yeah, night for us and you wow me. But, um, he came up with all tons of ideas, uh, like go to Hollywood, go to the Shlomo concert at, uh, the, can't remember what, where it was, um, Fonda, I think. And, um, I just wasn't feeling any of it because, you know, I'm kind of sick. I just wanted, like, a nice relaxing night, but just to do something crazy and be wowed. Um, and then eventually I said, okay, let's go, let's make reservations at this restaurant called Beach Street. I wanted to make them for 9.30 because I wanted to finish my essay first. But he said no, so we made it for 8.15. And it's sort of funny that we were going to that restaurant because it's, like, it's not, like, I don't know why we were going there. And it's in the Palisades. And my friend Jonah, who, oh, fuck, the... Blink, 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 and my friend blink, 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 who blink, blinks there, um, is out of town visiting colleges he got into. Speaking of colleges, I haven't actually heard from anywhere yet, <laughs> which is a little weird because all my friends have pretty much decided where they're going, or at least they've had, like, like they've heard from everywhere so they can know their options, but I don't, I've, re like, I've refreshed my email several times, but I don't know, just haven't gotten anything, um. But anyway, so he's visiting colleges, deciding which one he wants to go to. So and he, so 
we weren't like hanging out with him, but we went there anyway, which was sort of a funny move. But um, that's what I wanted to do for my night, so we went there. Then we came here, and disaster struck, as I explained earlier. Because those friends, they always just ditch us. I didn't really want to see them, and I just ran. Also, like, one of the friends there just really, I asked her for some fashion advice earlier today, and she, like, really let me down. Like, she told me, like, the, I kind of wanted to take a fashion risk, and she told me that it was okay, that it was trendy, quote-unquote, trendy. When I asked, is it trendy, she said yes. And, um, so my words, not hers, but still. And then she was texting my other friend about it, like, asking, acting like it was really weird that I took the risk when she's the one who encouraged me to step outside of my comfort zone and do it, and saying, you just don't look at her. So I, that's why I really didn't want to see her. There are, all, there are tons of clothes here, and there are some kids, cute kids' clothes arranged by, like, color and stuff. Seeing kids' clothes always just makes me sad because I can't really wear that shit anymore. <laughs> um, and so, you know, in, like, several video blogs ago, I was supposed to write this essay and lab report? Well, I never did it. I just didn't come to school. And now I have to do the same thing. And I really don't want to. But here's what I'm thinking. One, the essay I'm going to try to finish tonight, which was just never going to do that. And maybe tomorrow morning. It's going to be hard, but I'm going to try to do that. Um, and, yeah, so, so I'm supposed to go to this farm with Animal Rights Club tomorrow. Um, and what I'm going to say I'm going to first start out, I haven't even done this yet, I'm going to say to my friend Brian, who's head of Animal Rights Club, I'm going to say, hey, I don't, I don't get, have time to go to the farm, because, you know, I hung out with you tonight, I was going to work on my essay and then go to far the farm, but I have too much to do between the essay and the lab report, the essay and the lab report, I just don't think I have time, and he's going to be horribly upset and beg me to go to the farm, and then I'm going to finally say, Okay, fine, but you have to send me your lab report because I'm not going to have time to do the whole thing by myself. Then he's going to send it to me. I'm going to copy the whole thing. Um, and that is my plan, and I think it is a very good one. So I'm, on, so I'm not, yeah, I'm not that worried about the lab report, honestly. Even though he got like 54% or something on the last one. I probably shouldn't be copying him. Also, I'm like failing that class, so I really should be doing a good lab report. Ugh. School is so annoying. I think I'm failing, might fail like three classes, which it's supposed to not matter. But since I haven't heard from any colleges, I don't, I mean, I could be rescinded, but I don't even know if I got in. Ugh. Uh, okay, well, my friend started texting me, but I couldn't answer because I was making this video blog. So, I think I, so yeah, never mind. Um, uh -uh. So, I'm going to answer their texts. See you tomorrow or the day after that.